is the 8 plus 1 all you will ever need to remove all of your underarm hair. <laughs> Welcome back to my channel. My name is Ochi. I do videos on food, travel, and lifestyle. For today's video, I'm just going to be doing a short sort of like a wrap up of a video I did a long time ago. I think I did this video in 2018. This is about skin stations, um, diode, like the 7 plus 1 kind of promo, 8 plus 1 type of promo. Um, I'm not sure. I don't know if 8 plus 1 ba or 7 plus 1. But um, that video, and I've been getting a lot of questions about the follow up or if it's effective or whatnot. So I'm going to be answering all of those questions today. Uh, if I remember correctly, during my video, I said painless yung procedure, right? And um, I still stand by to what I said that time. Uh, pretty painless or it's fairly painless pa rin naman. I think my update is that as you go along, hindi na siya super painless compared to the first session. The first session was, you know, really just like 100% painless. Parang minamassage lang yung underarms mo. Pero the following sessions, nag na yung landscape ng underarm mo. Um, tumataas yung parang heat frequency. I don't know what they call it. Pero yung heat ng laser, tumataas siya. So medyo mas sumasakit ng konti. Konti lang. Parang mainit lang siya on your underarm. Mas may cooling gel naman and um, the attendant would stop every now and then para hindi mo maramdaman yung sakit. So, I think una kong naramdaman na medyo masakit na siya around my fifth session. And then after that, parang medyo nasanay na ako kasi pwede mo naman pa dagdagan yung cooling gel para hindi siya masyadong mainit. So, ayun, okay na ako dun. Tapos, um, yun, that's all about it. Yun lang naman yung change sa procedure. Scheduling with Skin Station is very convenient also because they remind you of your appointment every now and then. Wala naman ako ibang sasabihin about the procedure, but is it effective? Um, it is to a certain extent, pero one session is not enough to remove all of your underarm hair. To explain a bit more on that, I'm done with all of my sessions and according to the attendant and also syempre on my personal observation, medyo manipis yung hair ko sa underarms compared to other women, pero kulang pa rin yung 8 sessions plus 1 para sa akin. Uh, what was advised for me was that um, kailangan ko pang kumuha ng isa pang package and then for example, parang sabi sa akin, ano eh, hindi ko naman siya kailangan gasasin agad yung next package kasi uh, pwede namang once a year lang. Kamaga parang magiging booster mo siya or parang yun na yung maintenance mo for the year. Pero, is the 8 plus 1 all you will ever need to um, remove all of your underarm hair? Um, hindi. <laughs> kasi kailangan mo pa nga ng isa pang set of 8 plus 1 na parang you can use throughout the years para maintenance mo siya. Kasi like right now, hindi pa ako bumili ng isang set, pero like right now, um, tumutubo pa rin yung hair ko, pero sobrang nipis na niya. It's not as, um, as it was before. I can say thick kasi I never really had thick underarm hair, pero it's not as it was before. Uh, so hindi ka masabi if it's the same for everyone kasi yung sa akin, manipis na nga yung hair ko tapos um, cool lang pa siya, di ba? Pero baka naman sa iba, it depends, um, according to the attendant, it depends on how your body reacts to it. Sometimes, um, halimbawa, nagpa-IPL ka na daw, tapos magpapadayad ka the next. Isang session na lang kailangan mo kasi parang, I don't know, apparently the IPL or if you've had other laser sessions done in your underarms, may effect siya pag nag-diode um, ka na. So, baka hindi mo na siya kailangan. Again, it depends on your body's uh, physiology at kung ano na yung mga treatment na nagawa mo na before. So, uh, in my case, I am an underarm treatment virgin and that was the first treatment that I had done to have my hair removed. So, ayun, kailangan ko pa ng isang session. To sum it all up, I think sulit naman siya, yung 8 plus 1 at 5,000. I think I'm really going to get another one. You know, if you check all of the diode promos or the diode treatments around, it is the cheapest one na pwede mo na talagang makuha at that promo price, diba? So, just like one reminder is yung mga products, um, again, nag-complain na ako about uh, this in my past video. I am not a fan of their products. The ones that they sold to me, parang in-upsell nila siya sa akin during my first session. And of course, as an underarm treatment virgin, I was parang nalure and ako to buy all of those products na sobrang mahal. And um, I just wanna say na naubos ko na lahat ng products na yun at wala naman silang nagawa sa underarms ko. They're pretty much the same. So, I mean, your diode treatment is the best, your attendants are the best, but the products are just really crappy. Like, sa kanila din ako nagpa-treat before when I had severe acne tapos they sold 
a ton of acne products to me that didn't work because apparently my skin was allergic to the products that they sold to me. Binenta siya sa akin after kumukpaderma sa kanila so parang what the hell, diba? <laughs> What's the point? But anyway, um, that's all I can say about the skin station, a diode promo. If you guys have other questions na hindi ko pa na include sa video kasi I just wanted this to be super short since it's just a follow up video, um, just let me know in the comment section below and don't go lang kayo sa sa So if you like the video, make sure you hit on that like button and don't forget to subscribe and click on that bell button beside it so that you guys get notified every time I get a new post. So thank you guys for watching and see you guys in my next vlog. Bye!